Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use NI MultiSIM for the DC circuit fundamental course. First thing, you run the program. Right now I have version 13. That's how the program looks like. Uh, there's a main window that you put your design for simulation. On the left side you see another window called Design Toolbox. Uh, in the Design Toolbox gives you access to different sections of the design and simulation. Uh, on this uh, bar, you have access to different components. For example, uh, if you click on Play Stores, you can uh, find a DC power supply, AC power supply, or ground. If you need a resistor, capacitor, inductor, simply click on Place Basic. Uh, for diode, transistors, and different types of components, you click on the other options. Alternatively, you can click on Place and then Components. gives you the same results. After you finish your design, uh, you click on the green uh, icon here to run the simulation. Right now, I don't have any simulation, that's why I get an error message. On the right side, there are different types of meters. For example, multimeter, function generator, wattmeter for power, uh, also oscilloscope. So let's say, uh, let's start with a simple simulation. Let's say we have a, a DC power supply with two resistors in series. I'm gonna first put I'm gonna first put a resistor. So click on this. You see different numbers for resistors. Really, the value of the resistor is not important because you can change it. As you see, you can put capacitor, inductor, switches, or whatever. So click on OK. So put the first resistor here. Let's put another resistor. If you want to rotate it, Control R rotates the components. So right now you see that I can rotate. So let's say I put it here and close. Uh, we need a power supply. Click on power, DC power supply. Click OK. So I'm going to put this power supply here and then I'll close. Then we need to connect them. So simply click on one side and click on the other side. Then you see a wire. If you want to make sure that the wire connections are right, so simply drag the component to left or right, and you see that the wires are moving. So that gives you uh, confidence that the connections are correct. So I'm going to change this value to 10 kilo. We don't need to change the tolerance because it's a simulation. I'm going to change the second resistor to 10 kilo ohm as well. Uh, for power supply, I'm going to change it to, let's say, 20 volts. So right now I have 20 volts and two 10K ohms in series. Now let's say that I'm going to measure voltage. So I put a voltmeter. I connect the positive polarity to the upside here and negative polarity to the downside of R2. Right now, if we run the simulation, we get an error message that the circuit is not grounded. For every simulation, you must define a ground. So simply click on ground, choose a ground, and let's put ground on the negative side of the power supply. Run the simulation again, and you can see the voltage, which is 10 volts, and it's DC signal, that's why it's clicked on the DC side. If we want to measure current or if we want to make any changes into the design, first stop the simulation. So for example, if we want to measure current, first delete the wire, place another meter, so I'm going to put it here, let's move it a little bit. You know that for measuring current, the meter should be in series. So I'm going to put it in series with this resistor. So right now, XMM2 is in series for measuring current. XMM1 is in parallel for measuring voltage. So double click on it. Change it to A, which stands for amp. Run the simulation. And it's almost 1 milliamp. There are some numerical errors in the in the simulation 
uh, that right now you can ignore it. So if you want to change the priority of uh, voltmeter, for example, again, delete the wires. Now let's change the polarity. I connect the positive polarity to the downside and I connect the negative polarity to the upside. You run the simulation again. Now you measure negative 10 volts. If you want to save your simulation file, simply click on save, give it a file name and save it somewhere in your computer. There are also different options. For example, you can see breadboard view that simply you click on this and then you can build your circuit in breadboard because I added breadboard right now in the design toolbox you see another uh, line for this one because we don't need it right now I'm gonna remove it so remove from the design and this concludes uh, introduction of multisim thank you